Hi everyone, this video and one that will follow are about Recycler View. Recycler View is a widget like a list view, but it is more advanced than a list view. It offers more options, it is flexible and more important it doesn't affect performance as much as list view does so you should use it whenever you can let's see what are we building as you see in this demo we have a list elements that are inside of it can be removed by swiping them left or right also you can remove the element by clicking on it for all these actions we get really nice transitions okay Let's get down to business, shall we? First, in your Gradle settings, insert Recycler View dependency. Then go to Main Activity Layout File and here insert a custom view. Choose Recycler View from the given list. Go to Text tab and set its width to match parent and also give it a reasonable identifier. In main activity class declare the recycler view and reference it on the onCreate method by using the standard find view by ID method. Next recycler view dot set layout manager. There are three layout managers. We will choose the linear one that shows items in a horizontal or vertical list. Then recycler view dot set adapter. Now we need to create a new adapter. So let's declare one like this and simply initialize it in on create and pass the context from where we are accessing it so get application context create a new class for this adapter and make it extends recycler view dot adapter in these pointy brackets we need to pass a new class that will have a reference on our custom views in the list Type in the name of the adapter following the name of the class. I chose my class for its name. Now we have some errors. We need to fix them. Click on custom adapter, then keyboard shortcut, alt plus enter, implement these three methods. Click on my class and do the same click on the my class again <laughs> and choose the first option this gets pretty repetitive doesn't it again do the same thing for my class making it create a default constructor of course you can type this all manually but it is much easier this way when you use keyboard shortcuts okay so first thing we need is some data so Let's create uh, an array list of strings and let's just initialize it in the constructor. Next, we need to put our data inside of some text views. That means that we will have to make a new layout for those text views. In onCreateViewHolder, let's type the following view one row, it represents one row for our list, equals layout inflator dot from now here choose parent dot get context dot inflate. Now we need to pass a new layout for our views. Let's create one by right clicking on layout folder and choosing a new layout resource file. So we are showing a text, that means we will use a text view. Make its width match its parent width 
and uh, just for decoration set a background color for it. Ok, go back to our adapter, pass in just created layout and for the second parameter choose the parent view group and choose false for the last parameter. Then create a new instance of class my class. In its constructor pass in our just created layout that is one row in this case and make sure this method returns that class. Uh, in, in the my class itself now we have a reference on the layout that holds our text views but we don't have a reference on the text views themselves we will fix it here create the text view and reference it in the constructor part make sure you are using method find view by id that is referenced from the view that is passed through the constructor in my case it is item view ok now to actually write text inside the text view we go to the onbind view holder method and reference our text view with the past my class parameter here our my class is named holder so we will type holder dot text view dot set text and just pass in the array list with an index of position last thing is uh, make this method get item count return the size of our array list of course and that's it now let's take a look at emulator right now we can't move swipe or click on anything but we will see how to do it in the next tutorial see you soon thank you for watching bye